As you can see in the background, we have unlocked another one of the Foot Future Star objectives. Chuck Wazer, is that correct? Probably not knowing me. If you know the correct pronunciation, put it in the comments. Anyway, obviously an objective card, and once again, it's a really easy unlock to do. Score in 10 using the League of Players, win four of those games, assist four with a through ball, and score a finesco with a midfielder in two separate. Honestly, there's a very good chance you're just going to do all of these naturally in the 10 games. And for the most part, people do quit at 1-0 so it is a relatively easy objective to do and I'll say just like I did with the French striker it's worth doing because if there's a future stars requirement for an upcoming SBC then even if you're not going to use this guy obviously he is just worth having around and it's such a quick and easy objective so get it done and let me know how he is for you in the comments if you need some coins to improve your ultimate team the cheapest place to get them is at IG vault and there is a link in the description and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself an even bigger discount or off your order. Here we go then, he is now coming in to the club, hopefully he's going to be a pretty good addition to my squad as well, just going to use him in a full La Liga side as you're about to see, but to be fair, La Liga this year, there isn't a mass amount of right mid options, obviously I'm fully aware there is that Dembele card, but he is, you know, not cheap like remotely, he's incredibly expensive. And other than that, there's just that Vasquez and Asensio who are both SBC, so they're not available. So the only tradable options you've really got is that 450k Dembele and the 200k Road to the Knockouts Rodrigo. Now, I'll say straight away, one thing I like about this card is the fact that it has been upgraded in the weak foot department. His normal card has a two-star weak foot. This item has a four-star weak foot, so that is great to see. Um, I've just noticed he's got high low work rates, so I really don't want to use him as a right mid. So in game, we are gonna we're gonna switch to four two three one, I think, and we're gonna use him as a right attacking mid when I can find. The, why am I so blind? Um, anyway, he's gonna be playing in the right mid role, and hopefully he'll just do a really good job there for us. And I get the feeling he will, judging by the look of the card. With the flare trait is applicable to us, but let's have a look at the in-game stats, which it has to be said, for most part, do actually look really solid. Obviously, very nice pace. Dribbler looks good, highlighted with the uh, 95 agility. Composure of 85 isn't that bad for a winger, but in general, the dribbling does look very, very nice. In-game dribbling rating of 94. Physicals, also not bad at all for a winger. Good strength of 82, good stamina of 94, and then we come on to the passing, bit more of the same, 86 crossing, 85 short passing, and 81 long passing, and hopefully with that weak foot boost, he can whip in a really good ball off of his right foot, something which wouldn't have been possible, obviously, with the previous item, and shooting, to be fair, is it outstanding? No, but is it still good enough? Yeah, it's not too bad, so hopefully we can score some nice goals with this item too. For a chem style, I'm not going to lie, when I first looked at the card, I was instantly thinking Deadeye, and I do actually think that is a very good option for him, but I think Hawk is also really good, especially if you're looking to use this guy as a right forward, I think Hawk could be a really, really good option, especially for the boost that it gives to the shooting department. But I'm actually thinking we go with Maxman for this review. I just want to, you know, max out this dribbling as much as we can. And his dribbling does look pretty insane with that boost. Also, the Maxman shooting boosts are really nice. And he also gets, you know, a nice boost again in the strength department. So, yeah, let's go with Maxman. On debut, we are actually up against that other Future Stars um, objective card. So that's quite nice. We're also up against the player of the month for now, though, which is not as nice. That's terrifying. Ref, foul, shall we? Oh, I think he's pulled up injured as well. Here we go, here's a chance to break. Dink inside to Benzema. Benzema with a shot. Oh, what a fit. Oh, he's offside. That's a big shame. Trippier gets it out wide. Winger whips it in. That's a great ball, and Benzema fires home. There we go. That's been coming. Morales out wide. Right footed ball into the box. Benzema's going to reach for it, and he's going to score. Oh, we got very fortunate with a bounce off the post into the keeper, but you know what? We'll take it. Was into the box. Here he is. Oh, that would have been a brilliant hat trick of crosses. Well, weird random rage quit at 2 1, but we'll take it. Next out in, and good team. Good team. Couple of objective cards in there himself, and we're actually playing against the player we're reviewing, so I always enjoy that because I like to see how other people use him. How has that gone in? Matty Ryan, what are you doing? There's a chance there as we bring him through. Up against Tierney here. We're going to try and pace past him. Cut inside. Left-footed ball into the box. It's a good ball and Benzema. 
You know what? Almost makes a really good chance out of it. Oh, he's back on side. He's back on side. Can we cut inside? Oh, a bit heavier than I would have liked. Can we regain possession? Yes. Chance. Let's go for the early ball. It's gone to Benzema. It's gone to the winger and it's gone into the back of the net. I mean, it wasn't planned to go like that, but the ball's ended up in the back of the net, so I'm pretty happy. Here we go. Time to break down the wing now. Is he going to come across with Sa? He might, but it's a bit late now because we're going to get the ball in on that right foot. Oh, just a bit too much on that one. Chance if we can get the ball into the box. Does well skip past the man, gets the pass away, but it's blocked. Unfortunately, didn't get the win in at that game, but not a bad performance. We got to see a bit more of the winger, and that's what's important. Game number three, and we are up against Rodrigo and also Vinicius Jr., who is in so many teams. Morales, great ball. Finds our man. Can he find the midfielder? Yes, he can. Oh, that would have been a fantastically worked goal had we scored off that. Benzema, chips it through. Bit of space, and we'll take full advantage as well. I was in two minds there whether to pass or to go for the finesse, and I guess I made the right choice. One last chance heading into his half. Comes to Benzema. Oh, good save from Navas. Fortunate bounce and creates a chance. Oh, ref, how can you pull half time there? Give me the corner. Well, 1 1 at the break. We're going to put him up front for the second 45. Just see what he can do in that role. Make a couple of changes around the team as well. Hopefully, balance it out a bit more. And uh, yeah, let's just see how this second 45 goes. Oh, what a horrible touch that was, but at least we've kept possession. Best. Plays it for a gap. Good chance. Oh, it's been dragged wide. Didn't even aim it there either. Should have chipped. Oh, how have we not scored there? I mean, we've scored in the end. Oh, what a way to win the game! Lovely control from the winger! And what a way to win the game! Oh, dramatic. Oh, he's quit. As if he's quit in the 90th minute. What a way to win the game. Okay, game's done with this card. What did I make of it? I'll say straight away, it's obviously a good item for a freebie. But is it, you know, a must-have? No, I don't think it is. Uh, what did I like about the card then? Um, obviously, the pace goes without saying on a winger. Vital start, and he is pretty quick to be fair to him. I, thought I also thought his dribbling was up to a very good standard as well. And for those of you who are obviously good at dribbling, you should hopefully get more out of this card. But the best thing about the item for me personally... What's the delivery is? His crosses were really, really effective for me, and you'll notice that in the footage. And to be fair, he was unfortunate not to get more assists credited to his name. So happy with that area of his game. When it comes to shooting, I didn't think that was too bad. Nothing too crazy. He's one of them players that, when in space, he can score bangers. But when under pressure, like you never know where it's going to go ultimately. So there is something to note there. I don't want to like put a downer on it, though, because I don't think his shooting is terrible. I just think in comparison to... You know, some of the goal-scoring wingers that we've had of late, he's just not quite on their level. But he can still score goals, so don't take that away from him. One thing I do want to discuss is this guy's positioning, because, like, his base positioning is, like, very advanced because of the high-low wear rates, which is great. But I didn't find his run-making to be all that great. And I will point out, big asterisk here, I have just come off the back of reviewing Dakar, who had, like, perfect run-making. So maybe I'm being a bit harsh on the winger, but just nowhere near as good in comparison in terms of, you know, making them runs in behind. But um, as I say, pace thumbs up, shooting I'm happy with for the most part for a winger. Passing was good and dribbling obviously quite nice as well. And even the physicals, to be fair, are up to a good standard on the card. He's got enough strength to hold off some defenders, but obviously not all of them. And the centre-backs probably are going to dominate him. But honestly, it's not a bad card for a freebie at all. But that's ultimately the message from this video. Not bad for a freebie. I wouldn't go out of my way to pay for this card, to be honest, because I just don't think it's, you know, a must-have in anyone's team. Maybe it's a card that can do a good job in rivals and such, but I just don't think we'll be seeing this item too much in Weekend League. So you can probably guess where we're going after that previous statement. Is this guy, you know, the best La Liga wing option? 
He's not. Like, these two are better, in my opinion, especially the Dembele, who is just so, like, he's just so OP, isn't he? He's really, really good. There's a reason he still costs so much at this stage of the game. Obviously, these two no longer available, so there's no point really talking about them. I believe both of them were SBCs, and the rest, well, we don't really have too many options. And that's one of the reasons why I'll say, even if you know, you're not going to use him too much. I think he's worth doing just because he is obviously right now uh, one of the uh, only La Liga right-sided options. He's worth doing, especially if you don't want to spend coins on either of these two. Is he as good as those two? No. But is he better in all of this? Yes. Yes, he is. So, yeah, as I say... Good card, usable, but is it a brilliant must-have? No, it's not. But should you do the objective to get this guy, you absolutely should. You'd be foolish not to, because like I've said numerous times, Future Stars SBCs are requiring Future Stars players, and this will save you spending, you know, 20k on a potential um, Future Star player. So, yeah, get the SBC done, and if you do try him out, let me know how you get on with him in the comments below. Guys, that is my review on the 88-rated Truck Wizzy, whose name, hopefully, I'm getting correct. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.